An Avondale mother says her teenage son was at the airport almost three hours before his flight, but he still missed it. CBS 5 advocate Dave Cherry joins us now to explain how this can happen if you don't get your boarding pass ahead of time. Yeah, that's right, Chris. Discount airlines, they can offer such low fares because they know where to minimize expenses. And one way is limiting when their airport ticket counter is actually open. If you miss the window, it's open. You won't be able to get a boarding pass, so you better get it in advance. He's a scholarship athlete at Cowley College in Arkansas City. Jill Dillon says it was her son Brendan's last chance to come home before his season started. He didn't get his boarding pass in advance because he planned to check a bag. Dillon says Brendan was dropped off at the Wichita Airport about two and a half hours before his flight on Allegiant. Holiday weekend, he was there early. He walks up to the gate, or the, t the ticket counter, weather, and there's no one there. Dylan says Brendan came back two more times, still no one at the counter. He's not really familiar with flying, so he says, hey, I have this confirmation and stuff. I'll go to TSA and maybe this is enough to get me through. It wasn't. He missed the flight. Dylan says Allegiant didn't have another flight for days, so she had to pay for an overnight hotel, then a flight the next day that cost over $400. Dylan felt Brendan did nothing wrong, so she asked Allegiant to reimburse her expenses. She says that was nine weeks ago. I send an email and I say, it's been well over the 30 days. I haven't received anything. Can somebody give me an update? Still nothing. She and her son have learned the risk of not getting a boarding pass in advance. Absolutely do it ahead of time. Do it on your phone, do it on the mobile app. All right, what happened here? Allegiant says their agent was there exactly when they were supposed to be from two hours before the flight to 45 minutes before the flight. It seems Brendan went to the counter three separate times outside of that one hour and 15 minute window. Now this was a case of a passenger just not knowing the rules, but because the reimbursement claim dragged on so long, Allegiant did decide to give Brendan a voucher for future travel, something they didn't need to do, so we wanna thank them very much for that. Bottom line here, always get your boarding pass in advance to avoid this kind of stress. Chris